Hey guys, Gymnast Girl 814 here, and today I have a little resin tips for you guys. So I thought I'd start doing some resin tips. Hopefully, they'll be quick videos and not like long ones. And I think hopefully they will help you when doing resin. Um, so tip number one today is for bezels. So, let me just pull something I can show you. Okay, I got something that I'm working on. So, tip number one is you always have to paint your bezels. Because if you don't paint your bezels, your glitter will not pop as much. And what I mean by that is the light in the back makes the glitter stand out much more than if you had a silver back. Or like a bronze back, especially for using brown pieces. So as you can see, I pulled out some of my bezels. I have a ton of bezels. I need to use them. Um, so the difference between how I do mine, which makes it a little tip, is what I use to do mine. As you can see, they're coated very nicely. So the glitter will sit on there and the glue, like won't lift up that so what I like to use dun, 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 dun. I will show you guys an example too let's focus okay what I like to use is Bic cover it correction fluid aka whiteout so you're probably like whiteout yes I like to use whiteout cuz it's easy it's cheap I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar it has a nice tiny little brush that helps you get it around the sides and not really up on the edges. So here's a piece that I'm working on. It is a Alice in Wonderland Drink Me bottle. It needs one more layer, a doming layer. And um, it has the color popping out a lot, like the orange and yellow and pink, because I painted the back white. So I'm going to show you how I paint my bezels so hopefully you guys can see this because yeah so I just like to get some on here and it dries super fast that's why I like it too so I can leave it for like less than five minutes and it will be dry and then you can <clears throat> you can hurry up and do another layer if you want one suffices though with this. We okay, done. See, like less than like a minute. Okay, you could do another layer if you want, and it's already drying. It'll be dry in like a couple minutes. So I also like it because I can do small teeny bezels with it without getting it all over the place turn this around oops I got a little bit on my finger and got it on there hopefully you guys can see this And if you get some where it's not supposed to be, just wipe it off. Or you can get baby wipes if you have baby wipes or a wet cloth and wipe it off and it'll come off. That's what I normally do. So I just did a tiny one. Hold on, I missed a spot in this corner. There we go. There we go. And I'll just go clean up the edges and it'll be all set. So as you can see... They'll dry super quick, and then you can go and put your glitter down on there. So if you want another tip for how I do my bezels, because I don't use glue when I do my bezels, if you would like another tip, make sure to thumbs up this. If it gets, hmm, let's see. If this gets 30 likes, I will do another tip. So hopefully you guys like this and found it helpful. I mean... It's a cheap alternative. You don't have to get your paint brushes and paint out. I used to use paint and 
when I would brush it on, it would start to lift off and clump and all of that. So yeah, and it makes sure that your glitter pops no matter what colors you use. So I hope you guys like this. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.